<laughs> our fans. <laughs> Okay, welcome everyone to tonight's, uh, the May 14th, 2014, 7 p.m., it'll be 7.15, uh, Communication Commission meeting. Welcome everyone, it's been a while since we've had so many people here and we're really glad everybody could make it. Uh, has everybody had a chance to look at the agenda as presented? Yep. Yes. Uh, any amendments or uh, changes besides the word special has to be re <laughs> taken and removed, and the, the item seven has to be moved over. Anything else? No. Do we oh, have- Unless you want to remove 6B, or 7B, I'm sorry. 7B? Okay, we can remove 7B. All righty. Uh, we have to have a vote on that, if I'm not yep. mistaken. And do we have a motion? I uh, make a, mo a motion to remove item 7B from the agenda. Thank you. A second? I second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. And the motion passed to remove item 7B from the agenda. Uh, now, any other uh, amendments or comments? Do I have a motion to approve the agenda? I'll make a motion to approve the agenda as amended. Thank and you. I'll, make, and I'll second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 No opposed. Great. All righty. The agenda has been approved. Uh, has everybody had a chance to look at the minutes from the March 18th, 2014 meeting? Yep. Are there any changes? Nope. All righty. Anybody else? All righty. Uh, do I have a motion to approve? I'll make a motion to approve the meeting minutes from March 18th, 2014. Great. Second? I'll second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 And any opposed? None. So motion to approve the March 18th, 2014 uh, special meeting minutes have been approved. Great. Okay, we're moving along. Uh, cable department supervisor, would you like to give a report, Mr. Fournier? I don't, I don't have a whole lot that I want to bring up, uh, except if you look on the wall, back behind you the cameras were installed a week ago friday um, i tell you the pictures really look good in the control room um, not much more we have presets on them auto iris auto focus so that uh, real good uh, real good cameras and they look real good so as of that we've got we've completed the three steps that we started a year ago so high definition the switcher system and going out so into on comcast or charter or, or yeah. whoever wow decides to let us have high definition coming back we're set um that's the second thing i wanted to bring up if you read in the news mm -hmm. uh, as far as i can tell Comcast and Charter are going to be um, playing games. Uh, Comcast and Time Warner are trying to merge, and uh, the FCC um, has monopoly rules and regulations. And so in an effort to uh, uh, help, help with that decision, Comcast is going to be Supposedly, it, it had, it's not finalized. Comcast is going to be setting up a, an agreement with Charter where Charter is going to take over the management of, of the Comcast holdings here in Michigan. So I don't know what the breakdown financially will be, but in all reality, they'll come up with a new name. Comcast will own the majority. Charter will manage it. Uh, when this will happen, as far as talking to a couple other municipalities and some Comcast employees, the Comcast employees really don't know much. They're all worried about their jobs, especially the management. Um, you know, it could be six months, it could be a year, but uh, it, it all has to do with hinges on that Time Warner Comcast agreement that's uh, being proposed in Washington. Uh, how would it affect us? You know, Comcast still owns us, will still own most of this, so um, we still have that gentleman's agreement with them, so I haven't heard any changes, and none of the other communities I talked to anticipated any 
changes. So uh, we'll have to just pay attention to what's going to happen. Do you think the pricing will be going up? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, not to scare anybody. Uh, you don't even need to study on that. Yes. <laughs> That would be what I would I when, would when, feel. whenever whenever competition dwindles the pricing will go up, yeah. and uh, the only good thing is is in, in all reality that uh, talking to some chart I was up, had to be up north last week for a couple of days, the charter people up north really like their cable, and uh, in all reality and I don't want to slander them but uh, Comcast is probably the least customer friendly, customer service friendly of all the cable departments. I know Wide Open West is usually at the top of the JD yeah. Powers um, rating and they tell us every year they send us some news releases that they are, but uh, ca charters um, highly valued and so under charter management, um, you know, it would probably be safe to say that uh, um, you know, service would be probably a little better. But the offset might be, as, as you've said many times, that uh, the younger people are moving away from cable. The younger people don't watch television. Uh, they don't watch it on, an, <laughs> they, they, on, on a current <laughs> basis. They watch it, you know, they'll DVR it or watch it through <laughs> Netflix or whatever. Uh, so will that have, do you think, some offset to the pricing? Um, I really can't tell. I just know that under the, under the cir circumstances now, when you eliminate competition, yeah, it, the prices yeah. go up, and, and the prices are going to go up every year as they offer more and more services. And and, and if you wa if you listen to the advertisements now, the cable companies are offering uh, the ability to get your television anywhere from any place. Right. You know, so um, like I said, the the old traditional television is dying quickly. So, yeah. um, just a couple things. We are being, not besieged, but we're getting a lot of requests from community groups to start promoting their stuff. Uh, uh, some of the projects we're working on, uh, I've worked with Pam Prucci the last couple of days um, with a new version of the Island Eye. Uh, we did a couple of the uh, segments. So we did one on the roads yesterday, and we were over at... Uh, um, West Crop Gardens this morning. We're going to uh, do a feature with Lauren Smith and we're going to do uh, um, they do a segment that talks about the events that are going to happening on the island and what we thought we would do is take the channels and have them not only talk about the events from the channels but also introduce the new channels as part of the show so we have that to do next week. I know uh, Kathy, we're going to do a segment with you promoting your uh, kayak event. Um, the police department, we got two, uh, we, we did one with uh, Ann Darsnick's husband showing us about being tasered. We got two more. <laughs> Don't coming. volunteer. Yeah. Uh, he shot the wall. <laughs> um, we got two more coming up, one on uh, uh, gun safety and one on the dispatch. Um, I have the, the people that are going to be running the... Uh, Blessing of the Bike Ceremony is the second week of June. Uh, we're going to do a promo with them. Uh, Mr. Page has brought a, a project in for us to do uh, promoting the beauty of the island. Where It'll probably be a six-minute piece with pictures. Uh, was it the Nature Conservancy took? Or? Uh, we're going to put that to music and run that as a, uh, some of the cable stations have these beauty pieces. Mm -hmm. and we'll run that. Uh, we're, we're starting to work on that. Uh, today, I was told that the boosters at the high school are going to be selling bricks, and they want to do a promo for that, so um, we're going to start working on it. These are all projects that are coming up in the next three weeks. Um, well, there's another one, just so you know, uh, the blessing of the animals in October. Well, I haven't, I haven't yeah. got a notification of that yet. <laughs> That's an important one. Uh, we've been working with the Island Pest Commission as fast and as furious as they make changes to the web page. We've been getting them up. Um, we're making plans as far as, as Island Pest. We're going to cover the parade. Mm -hmm. And um, we got one little, um, Barry. Barry uh, wants me to do some kind of video or some kind of presentation. Are you getting a 30 foot screen, blow up screen? or That is to be determined. 
Oh, it's to be determined because he approached me to do something with that. Yeah. And then, um, uh, it's fast and furious going on here. Um, well, we're going to do the parade. We're going to cover all the gross heel children events, the choir, the dancing, the jazz fest, the jazz, and the jazz, and the kids on Monday, on Sunday, and then the fireworks. And um, can you possibly get just cameos of some of the Oh, I got one, one guy. One guy's going to do that, and then we're going. Because I'd like to just do a shout out to all the volunteers who kind of put in their time. Well, we could, we could. We could work on that. Okay. Um, we're going to do a little feature. I talked to uh, Chad and Kelly, uh, the two ladies that are running tonight's show. We, we bought a GoPro camera, which we oh, used good. for um, Pam's show already yesterday. We stuck it, on, stuck it on my truck, and we have some great shots of all the potholes all around. Which one did you get? We got them all up and ready. No, no, which GoPro? I had the, the, the middle one. The, the, you got the two, the silver. Yeah, I think that's okay. the one. It worked, it worked beautifully. We're going to do a kind of a feature with the uh, uh, a young lady that's really never been to Island Fest before, and we're going to have the GoPro on her and have her. Oh, that's cool. The helmet? Feature, the helmet. Yeah, yeah the helmet the ones. Hel yeah. We're going to have do a feature with her. They've got a uh, chest one, too. Oh, well, they got a <laughs> They've got all kinds. Of, that's where they make their money. Keep me okay. out of Best Buy, especially the GoPro section. But... Uh, um, oh, Walmart has a whole section of GoPro stuff, too, if you need it. We went in for a cheapo video last year, and we ended up with the GoPro. <laughs> so that's what's going on as far as what we're doing day-to-day. Uh, um, -day. Um, Ms. Smith asked me to do an inventory that I told her I'd have done tonight. I've got it about 85% done. Okay. I never started it till after they did the cameras. Okay. And um, I've got those cameras to add to it, and we didn't do anything in the truck. So okay. uh, I'll have that complete by next month, and I apologize for not okay, having it Okay, no problem. Tonight. Thanks for the update. Um, basically, I'd said I don't want to, you know, uh, bore you, but that's basically what's happening. So any questions? Well, I can tell you, Monday night when I left here after the pre-meeting and went home, my husband was singing the praises of, oh, the cameras, everything looks so great. Well, and I was going to say, yeah, exactly yeah. the same thing. Looking yeah. at some of the rebroadcasts, it was like, wow. They, so they are, very, compared to the old cameras, they are a lot brighter. Mm -hmm. This room had a real dark tone to it, mm -hmm. and these are a lot more forgiving. Even if I were to shut all these lights off, there you can I get a pretty good picture. Oh, the other thing I want to mention that we... We had an experiment with the uh, Open Space Forum, in which they're going to have another one in June, where we actually took everything there and brought it to the front, and we brought some lights in so we could light them, and we had spent about six hours figuring out how we could mic it, but they had a forum. And a uh, couple of the new features that you can use tonight is that this room now has an email address, so any board or any commission or any meeting that would like to have interactive, um, the constituents can send an email to the boardroom under comments, C-O-M-M-E-N-T-S, I passed spelling, <laughs> at grossheel.com. So any commission, if they're so inclined, could solicit interactiveness oh, with the clientele. Why don't we put up a, a, a flyer, uh, a thing on the, you know, the rotation with that information? Well, I, I, I can do that, but I, I think each commission, you know, because if they're not aware of it, people right. start sending in. Because that night I actually had a uh, tech sit where you were mm -hmm. yeah, and oper the open operate yeah. the computer so that the chairman didn't have to screw around with anything. Okay. And uh, they didn't get any feedback. Um, I'm sure I, I could advertise it better. I mean, we had it on the on the bulletin board, and we had it on uh, um, the web page. But I'm sure we could do it a little better job. But uh, they're going to do it again in June, the first Tuesday. The second thing is at Kathy Station now, and this goes for anybody up there, the board or any commission. We now have wireless keyboards both here. And a wireless mouth here, mouse, and we also have the same thing up there. So now 
any board member, member or commission can operate this computer and show up on the screens from their own site. That's a nice feature. That's great. So if we had like a USB with a PowerPoint or something like that, we could just plug it in over there and operate it right, right behind here. Awesome. Right. There's a multiple uh, um, USB port there. Well, again, re referencing Monday night when we had a pre-meeting, and we'll talk about that a little later, it was wonderful. Sharon's, it was flawless, and it was so quiet because uh, Uta O'Connor kept saying, it's so quiet compared to the way it used to be. Well, these, that camera behind you used to make noise. Yeah, it's very, um, very noticeable. Everything now from a year ago is, is new except for my PowerPoint computer which Cygnus is having trouble replacing. So as soon as we get that done, then everything for the presentation will be new. And I, um, I know Lauren was present when I, I presented this to the uh, township board. Um, what I want to do after Island Trust is get a couple sound people in here, all right? Uh, I'm aware of a couple new systems that other communities are using. New Boston just bought a system where they, <clears throat> they charge the microphones up and actually every, every commissioner wears kind of a lanyard, which, which is a mic. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and, and they're raving about their sound uh, quality over there. So I want to look into a couple systems mm -hmm. and then next budget, next March, present um, a couple solutions to the township board and then we can if there's a necess necessity, that would be the last part of upgrading the whole township board. Great. What kind of money are we talking? Don't know yet, so we'll, we'll find out what we need. Well, yeah. I, well, I'm sure there'll be a lot of support on the board, especially <laughs> Mr. Posiak. He seemed to really be concerned about the, well, the sound. Well, you know, the sound is actually, since we've gotten rid of the old cameras and the, and the computer system, which was tied into the computer system, we've had a lot less Good interference on the on the microphone. So, I'm good. Like I said, this summer we'll get sound engineering and we'll get uh, uh, advanced lighting and sound, and we'll get a couple other companies to come in and give us an idea. And then, if it's necessary, we'll make that presentation in in the winter. Great. So, Great. That's it. Does anybody have any questions for Ted? Great job, Ted. Thanks, Ted. Uh, Mrs. Smith. Just a few things. Um, first, I want to thank um, Kathy. Gerard and Uta, who's not here for attending the minutes training on Monday. I thought it was a valuable um, process for us to kind of all go through. Um, I also want to remind everybody that Centennial Celebration bumper stickers are for sale at Township Hall at the cashier's office as well as the Recreation Department for a dollar. Um, they'll be for sale at Island Fest as well as um, throughout the duration until we have our Centennial ce Celebration on October 11th. And then Island Fest is taking place May 30th through June 1st. There are still a number of different volunteer opportunities available. So if anybody here or out there watching would like to take uh, advantage of those opportunities, all you have to do is go to the website and click on the Island Fest, um, or Island Fest, Island Fest logo, and um, it'll take you to the volunteer spot. And that is basically it. Okay. Any questions? Great job. Alrighty, chairman report. Um, well, uh, as Lauren said, uh, a number of us were at the uh, preliminary meeting, uh, the pre-meeting Monday night regarding um, the minutes and uh, agendas and things like that put on by the clerk's de uh, department, Mr. Ranka and Sharon Gray. And I personally thought it was wonderful. And one of the ideas that I took away from this um, is having a full year calendar. It's something we have not done, um, and we can always change it, but it'd be nice to know, you know, are we going to be here at Christmas time? Is uh, Fourth of July not working for us? But before we even get to that, um, what I'd like to do is talk about time. What time do you guys want? Because I know we had an early special meeting, and most people really liked it, but again, we have working people, and I want to, you know, accommodate them. And maybe we could have... It, in the summertime, a 4.30 meeting, and maybe in the wintertime, have a 7 o'clock meeting? I mean, what do you guys want? I, I'm, I'm very interested in what everybody has to say. 
I really liked having the earlier meeting. It was everybody. Did. I think all of us who were there really kind but, of appreciated that, getting an evening back. Um, but you know, obviously, there's folks who work, and we want mm -hmm. to be mindful of that. And you know, I'm open to anything, so I don't. Okay, Sharon. Um, now, how how early are we thinking? We were thinking 4:30. Now, I know you you work in Monroe, if I'm yeah, not mistaken. Okay. And so for me, 4.30 is a little push. Little push. Mm -hmm. um, five? Five would, would work fine, yeah. Okay. And, and again, in the summer? In the summer, I'm, I'm good to go anytime. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cause, cause, and this is something we can, can we do. do a breakfast? Being a teacher. <laughs> well, this is what, what I'm going to try to do. And, and Jerry, what about you? You have, you know, a busy life? Uh, I'm retired, so pretty much any time is available. Wednesdays are fairly open for me. Okay. Well, what I thought I'd do is... Take this information. I'll get a the full year set up. We'll see, what, and I'll send it out to everybody and say, well, these months we can come at 4:30. These months maybe we come at five, and uh, maybe these months we don't meet. You know, depending on because usually we have a summer break and a, and Christmas time nobody's going to show up, so you know right. we do that. Yeah. But but uh, that way we can actually look at it, have it in our hand. And I thought that was a great idea. Yeah. Uh, and I think everybody felt the same way. Okay, good. And I'll, I'll take care of that for us and send it out, and everybody can look at it and decide what, what they want. But it would be the second Wednesday, and we'd have different timing. Is that okay with you, Richard? That's fine with me. Okay, great, great. Well, that's, that's important. Um, also, let's see, what else? Uh, I had a chat with the gentleman who we, I talked about, uh, about the Wi-Fi at the Commons. So, he's been very busy, and I stalked him, so I got a hold of him, he's, and he's going to look into it. He talked to Comcast about a free subscription for us. They didn't seem interested. So, you know, that's the first pass, because we're not really a charity. But he said, uh, it's, it's still promising to do it, uh, but he, the public versus private network is an issue. We have to talk to our insurance people, you know, how do they handle that? Um, they want it to be very welcoming and, and he wants it to be legally and insurance wise everything on the up and up um, and they have a, a law that dis, uh, a disclaimer law you know, just saying right up front you know we're not it's not a, our fault if somebody says something wrong on the website or something but we're going to get into that and he was very concerned about who has the liability, which would be the township, obviously. But we're going to start moving forward, and he's going to get back to me and talk about it. But he does not think it's a it's a big issue to get it the Wi-Fi. And I, what we'd like to do is have it for the summer when we, they have the uh, the summer concerts up there on on Sundays. Ted, there is electricity up there, is there not? I think there is because a lot of the musicians they have electric guitars on, on the commons. Yes. Yes, there is. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I told him that. That's a big. That's a big hurdle that we have. Uh, that if we have it, we're ahead of the game. So I think by next uh, month I'll have something a lot more definite. And I don't think it's going to be a big job. He's going to come up with an idea of cost, and he's going to try to be very reasonable because obviously he's kind of doing it a little bit pro bono type. So we'll see how that goes, but we are moving forward. We have gotten some uh, feedback, which I'm, I'm very happy about. Okay, so that's about it for that. Um, now I thought we'd talk about the website, which is what everybody's here for. And uh, I thought we'd start with what we have going on now. This is our latest version. Do we have any comments? I s sent some comics. Mm -hmm. I I had my uh, parents both look at the the website, and they are on commissions as well. Uh, my mom thought the website was a little too busy. The eyes the eyes did not center on Grozio.com. Instead, it, it centered on Welcome to Island Living, and she thought with a government website, your eyes should naturally focus more on the com, and my father thought that the welcome to island living chopped off some of the picture and it, sh and it should be smaller that was his opinion 
and le- and and not conca- and not rounded, but just straight across. That was their opinions. Anybody else? Because basically, we've been through all the renditions. I think that they're willing to accommodate us. And um, there, I, I did I did read your uh, your note and about focusing on Gross Seal Township versus you know Welcome to Island Living. And there are some that go right to the name and others that go kind of to the slogan or the theme. So there, it's a variety, yeah. you know. And I, I think, I honestly think we, this is the best and we can live with this after all of the renditions we've gone through. Um, does anybody have major objections to it? No, I, I think it's, it's nice. It's gone through a number of iterations. Yeah. Each one is improved, you know, either significantly or slightly. Um, I think we're there. I think okay. it would probably be good to put it in front of, a, of the board to, okay. to get an opinion or an approval. Jerry? I kind of like it. Okay. <laughs> good. Sharon? Okay, just right. That's all right. <laughs> She's Take your time, dear. Um, actually, I like it a lot. Um, okay. I, I think it's... Uh, I like the colors, and I, I just... Um, I feel like it's a very welcoming... Page, I, I really like it. Well, it, I don't think we'll ever find perfection, but I think this is as close as we're going to get. So, do does that, somebody want to make a motion that sure. we would uh, yep. pass this on to the board? I will uh, like to make a motion to present the current version four. I guess this is <laughs> of the uh, website creative to the township board at the next board meeting. This is the home page. We still have a yes. second page. Okay. Yes, home page, yeah. Okay. Second. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? And the website passes. And I'm I'm very happy. It's <laughs> yes. it's been it's been a lot. But I go. I'm hoping people respond well. Give me five. Hmm? Give me five. What? It's a give me five. five. I five. Oh, I five. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I five everybody. Woohoo, everybody. We've gotten for there. Sure. <laughs> yeah, and it's, you know, I, I, our website currently, it has been, it served us well. Ted's done a great job, but, you know, it's a little time for a facelift, and we're going to try to change the pictures. Obviously, we're going to have three rotating pictures in the back. We'll have the pictures in the middle to the season. And we encourage anybody who wants to have their pictures displayed here to send them in to Ted and we will give you picture credit because that's what we really want. And so, so that's that. Okay. Great. Wait, are you, do you want to write up the motion for the board meeting? Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. Great. Yeah, but that won't be for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> Good. Because okay, I know that's going on. Um, also, um, Uta sent in an article about um, Wi-Fi in Germany. and. The only thing, I, I think most people had a chance to read it. The only thing I'd really like to talk about is that Wi-Fi is coming to the communities. I mean, it's coming to Birmingham, it's coming to Novi, it's coming all over. And I, I really think eventually we will be charged with doing this. And uh, it's just another article to read and to, to digest and think about. That, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, and we have no public comments. We have no visitors. Oh, we oh, do have a public okay. comment. Yes. Um, back, to the, back to the webpage. Yes. Is there a difference between government and departments? We have most of those words that were up there. And, government uh, and departments. What do you mean, dear? I see. On that green part, yep. one copy I read, and I was just wondering if, what the plan was. Uh, it's the same as the one we have now. Departments should be under government. Is there another word we could put up there? Another could we change the word? Um, I, I just don't. You know, okay. Or would you know government be more like trustees and commissions and departments actually right, be okay. physical departments here at Township? So I just wondered what the difference was going to be. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah. okay. I mean, either way. I didn't want it to come back and then us figure, you know, there was a problem. Right. No, I, it, it's all good. Questions are good. <laughs> um, since there is no public discussion, I would like to do a plug, and if, if the ladies could uh, focus on that little item, and this is all about Gros Seal, there is going to be a kayak event on the 15th of June. It's going to be Father's Day, so bring your dad down. 
Uh, the full event is a, uh, we're going to do a scavenger hunt on Thoroughfare Canal, and we're also going to have a race for the real hardcore people. There will be prizes, and I will be hitting up a lot of my friends, and you all know that already. Uh, for gifts and things, uh, there's going to be a, a lovely meal uh, put on by Sharkies. It's going to be um, roasted chicken, we're going to have quesadillas, there'll be goodies, uh, there'll be entertainment, and if you do not want a kayak and you just want to come and eat, which a lot of the golfers might want to do on Father's Day, because I hear it's very busy, come on over and it's a reduced price. You can also have your spouse and they can swim in lieu of kayaking. That's been included and we will have some uh, kayak rolling. RKC will be here to do some entertainment for us. So I, I wanted to tell you that and don't forget June 3rd is coming and that's We Kayak Starts. So we'll be having and go to We Kayak uh, uh, Facebook and we'll have all the information. Can you rent kayaks at that? We can rent kayaks, okay. yes. And all you have to do is uh, contact uh, Riverside Kayak Connection. It's okay. on the uh, the We Kayak webpage. Okay. And they will be there, and they will be at all our, our events. And they have um, their owner Tiffany Vandehey has generously offered to come to our We Kayak and kind of you know supervise us. Even if she doesn't have rentals, which is very nice, very you know, right. good person, and so just want to give the plug. This is all, and all the profits will go to the township to maintain the kayak launch. Oh, so is. there is nobody's making any money except the township to put it back into the the maintenance of our new soft launch, which we've had nothing but raves about. So that's it. Excellent. Okay. Do I have any? Uh, anybody else have any plug? Okay, I've done enough. Uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. And I'll second it. And we are adjourned at 7.50. Yay. Yay. That was fast. It's a happy one. Yeah. <laughs> I think we motioned and seconded it. Does it matter? I think you did, because I had to write. <laughs> <laughs> it's done. I was trying to get it to move smoothly.